Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. I hope you are having a fantastic, fabulous Friday. It is Friday, getting ready for the weekend. Find out why a new survey shows that more than half of America wants to extend the enhanced unemployment benefits, who the people are that don't want it, who the people who do, and the state where unemployment is recovering the fastest, and the ones that aren't, and the latest states looking to sue the federal unemployment benefits. Another state added that sued, and one that we got word from a, a loyal viewer that sent us a screenshot of it that we're still trying to verify that we'll know before even it's in the news. So here's your unemployment update for Friday, June 25th, 2021. I'm Andrew Cartwright. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries. My goal in these videos is to give you the best information to get government money and private money for your business, your loved ones, and yourself so you could just do better in life. So stay tuned to the channel for daily videos on personal finance, real estate, stock market, crypto, and other investments to help you generate income and save lots of money. That's the purpose of these videos. And I also give away money on the channel. The way you get that money is real simple. Subscribe, like, and comment. We're almost at 190,000 subscribers. When we hit that 190, I'm launching out $1,900 in cash we're gonna reload the bank after that and give more money away. Right now it's 1900 bucks. So all you do is subscribe, like, and comment. We pick a random comment and then we launch it out. It's a tradition on it, on the show. Hopefully you get that money if you feel lucky. Maybe you might wanna put a comment in. It doesn't matter what you say. Make sure you subscribe. That way you get uh, and hit the bell to get notified. Right. Down below, there's a link to stocks for free, valued up to 1800 bucks with Weeble. Awesome. Make sure you don't miss out on that. When you uh, fund your account with $100, your stock could be worth up to $1,850. So make sure you do that. If not, if you don't have the $100, just get the free stocks anyway. Make sure you do that. They probably don't want me saying that. But I want you to get the free stocks because you deserve it. You deserve a break today. It's Friday. It's a fabulous day. Also, thanks so much to my Patreons for as little as $3. They support the channel. Five articles a week plus an a look under the hood of my investments as well as my real estate program. Check it out, $99, $4,000 course, yours, 36 videos, a master's in real estate, basically how to buy, when to buy, market cycles, time value of money, how to analyze different investment classes, even if you're investing in a REIT, which one should you invest in, and also how to best use your money, negative, neutral, and positive leverage. What does that mean? How to really turbocharge your investments. For $99 with the code BOOM, get my real estate program. It's in the description. But first, a recent survey online research firm Motive found that over half of Americans think that the extended enhanced unemployment benefits should not be given out any longer. Should not, believe it or not. The survey found, quote, just over half of America, 52%, want the extended benefits to end immediately, end quote. They also found, quote, of Republicans, 80% want extended benefits to end right away compared to 27% of Democrats, end quote. That's what they found. Just reporting it, not saying that's how we feel on this channel. You know how we feel on this channel. There's only one in seven that's sitting at home that doesn't want to look for a job. That's what they, the reports also suggest. So these are sentiments of how people feel about what's happening, right? The study also shows that 30% of Americans want the benefits to end September as planned, and just 16% want the additional benefits to continue indefinitely. Like, why not? These figures display just how divided we are as a nation. If you thought we were divided as far as red and blue, it's even more than that. It's also our pocketbook. With more than half of Americans not on board with such a great stimulus program like these vital extended enhanced unemployment benefits, which in a lot of times is only 45% of what people were making anyway, they can't survive on this, they can't pay their mortgage or their credit cards or keep up with their regular payments. So there's an, there is an incentive called survival to go back to work. And you had this thing called the virus that was all over the place and there's a variant now and not everybody's vaccinated. So we still have disruption in the marketplace. Uh, I go out and I see half the people, you know, wearing masks and half that are wearing masks and some that aren't. So it's 
we're still uncomfortable, right? Meanwhile, a recent report from WalletHub shows that states across America are recovering the quickest from unemployment and from the last 16 months of absolute craziness. The study looked at five key metrics, comparing the unemployment rate from May of this year to both 2019 and, believe it or not, 2020. The top five states that have recovered the strongest from unemployment are number uno. One is Vermont. Yeah, Bernie, good job. Second, Utah. Third, Nebraska. Fourth, South Dakota. And fifth, Idaho. The five states that recovered the weakest from unemployment are, and we know this because they, and in addition, they've had some of the most broken unemployment systems. Last is Hawaii, next is New Mexico, and New, then New York, Nevada, Connecticut, rounding out the bottom five. I'm glad for all my viewers in the states that are seeing the quickest unemployment recovery, and hopefully the bottom five, including my home state where I'm sitting in Las Vegas, Nevada, literally Henderson, uh, can bounce back to a full recovery from unemployment mess that we've been dealing with all this time. And finally, more well, and to speak on employment in Nevada, we opened up Resort World yesterday. So if you can imagine it, uh, they did even better than that in this new resort. Can't wait to go there. They had a red carpet event, unbelievable. They threw $4.3 billion, I think, at this place. All my friends worked on it that I know that are in construction. They say that it's unbelievable. Like, whatever you can imagine, forget that like Disneyland, like it, whatever you can think of, they threw so much money at it that it's ridiculous and off the charts. So if you have, uh, there's a reason, there's like 3,500 rooms that just became available now. It's crazy, right? Resort World, check it out. If you haven't yet, check it out online. Finally, more states are talking their unemployment cases to court. Yes, they're walking right into the courtroom and suing the governors that are taking down unemployment from the federal government, ending the federal benefits, and they're taking these governors on. Different people. The new lawsuit being offered in multiple states across America to keep handing out these extended enhanced unemployment benefits, and those states are right now Indiana and Georgia, and now you can add Maryland to the list of states suing to keep disbursement federal unemployment funds going as it's federal law. The House and the Senate passed this. It is the federal law. It's the law of the land, according to the federal government. States are like, nah, some of them. So over more than half now. The Unemployment Workers Union announced a lawsuit yesterday challenging Governor Larry Hogan. Yes, decision to end the, the several pandemic unemployment programs earlier. They hope that the judge will issue an injunction to stop Hogan and the old line state from ending the federal benefits. Yes, basically to stop it. And also, Christina, a loyal viewer from Texas, screenshotted a lawsuit, which we're still trying to verify even before it's even published, in the newspaper, which it hasn't been yet, or a verified source or a news media source, but a lot of people communicate with me on Instagram. I leave all my socials in the description and on the thing, so people talk to me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So she told us about uh, a lawsuit, screenshot it, that could be brewing in the great state of Texas, where thousands of residents are still in need of those federal unemployment benefits. As you know, it's more of a Republican-leaning state, so we'll see uh, if they're able to overturn or get an injunction so that those funds can still be paid out until they hear the case. Thank you so much for speeding up the, lo speeding up the news and keeping us informed in that Lone Star State, Christina. And let me know if you're in the comments. If you're in the state and you know anything about the suit, um, please let us know. And also, if you know something in your state, Please reach out to us. Let us know what's happening in your neck of the woods. It's hard to keep up with everything that's going on. We try and keep you as posted as possible here on the channel. If you still haven't applied for these unemployment assistance, get a head start on the weekend. Apply today. Just reach out and uh, grab your keyboard and uh, start plugging away. Simply check with your state's 
PUA and your UI website. That's unemployment insurance. Put your state. You'll probably get it at the top of the list. Or pandemic unemployment assistance, again, with your state. And it'll probably pop up with that. Usually, they're two separate websites. Show them your employment history. If you don't have any, don't make it up. You'll get caught up in the bureaucracy because they'll be looking for where your employment was and where you paid and you didn't. So make sure that you separate yourself from the crowd if you are truly separate from the crowd and didn't pay into the system. Fill out the application as generally as possible and to the best of your ability. Be honest and truthful in answering those questions. Just be straightforward. You can get a backdated check. Get all your savings back you might have spent or pay off your credit card that you might have put funds on and get that twenty to $22,000 check that you deserve. If you're a gig worker, self-employed, independent contractor, 1099, you got a side hustle, you're a volunteer, and you're out there just freelancing away, the PUA will help you with these amazing government benefits, the disaster relief funds that you deserve and can get as part of this federal program. So make sure you reach out and get these before the state cuts them off. So, you know, depends. I hope they don't come up with some. If you, you didn't apply, you lose it. So, and that hasn't happened yet. I hope it doesn't. Please keep sharing your experience with the PUA and unemployment benefit in your state. Please stay, be safe out there. Take care of yourself and one another. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care.